pristine condition. Endless hours spent getting the course ready for the PGA Championship. Now those hours go into repairing it. A demanding course requires a demanding amount of work when it comes to creating an exciting playing surface, but maintaining its pedigree even after the best golfers made their way through over the weekend. A course built for drama continues to deliver, but the work doesn't stop there. Now with the PGA Championship in the books, John Ballard and his crew have a new challenge on their hands getting the course back to its original form. We put a lot of things under a lot of pressure, particularly putting green surfaces, uh, with just a lot of frequencies with mowing and rolling and things like that. So we want to make sure those are good. So a little bit of extra care for those, a little CPR kind of, so to speak, uh, and then we'll move out. There's no reason to get too aggressive on areas outside the ropes as the teardown's going. We'll start to game plan, get some things together in terms of seed or fertilizer and some things like that, but we really probably won't start attacking these areas for another several weeks. So during the tournament, you know, we collect a lot of data, a lot of information, and we'll take that back and, you know, kind of decompress and revisit and say, okay, what worked and what didn't work so that we can continue to be better, not only for the next PGA Championship, but just our day-to-day -day membership, like what is working, what's not working, that kind of thing. The course is open today for members to have an opportunity to play the same holes as the pros and then it will close down for three days to focus on some of those repairs before opening again for Memorial Day. At Valhalla Golf Club, I'm Britt Barba, WLKY Sports.